I remember that one day I, I found myself in front of a group of, of ultra-Orthodox Jewish people, and I asked myself, as a secular person, I asked myself, what's the difference between you and them? You are Jewish and they're Jewish. What's, what's the difference? Like, your brother might be one of these. Like, you, you might be a family. What's the difference between you? And then I said to myself, the simple answer, they learn Torah, and you don't. That's the difference. You think about the Torah as something that you're not interested in putting your mind to. You never learned about its importance. And they have thousands and thousands of books that are wrapping it from any angle, that are just like investigating and thinking about it and trying to, to figure out more about it and like diving into the depths of, of the verses, something you haven't done before ever in your life. Then I took that decision to take the Bible and back then, 26, 25 years ago, I bought that Bible, this specific copy, that one, and I started learning. Means I started reading from first page of the Bible, Torah. Learned Bereshit, Shemot, Vaykra, Pamidvar, Dvarim, and the rest of the books of the Ketuvim, all the written scripts, and all the prophets, testaments. Just read them one after the other without wearing a kippah to my head. I was not keeping Shabbat these days, that, those days. I was not doing any, not a, a, without being aware to Torah keeping. Like maybe I could be friendly to someone, maybe I could help someone. But I, I didn't aim to keep mitzvot. I never kept mitzvot in my life until that time. And then my conclusion of that phenomenal, amazing book was, that is the best book I ever read in my life. That was my personal conclusion. That's what I said to myself without having no rabbi affecting me, no one to brainwash my, my, my mind. No one. Only me in the book. Only me and my feeling. Only me and my search. I finished that book saying to myself like, whoa, that's the best book I ever read in my life. I need to start it over. But I felt that just to read it over is not enough. And I went to some Jewish bookstore and I started searching for books and I didn't even know what to look for. I didn't know what the concepts of what Kabbalah is, I didn't know. What Hasidut is, I didn't know. I didn't know that I remember myself that someone asked me, have you learned Mishnah? And like today, Mishnah, it's like foundation, it's like Mishnah. In my world, like Mishnah is obvious, you know what's Mishnah, Mishnah is basic. I didn't know what it means, Mishnah. I didn't even, the word Mishnah in Hebrew didn't make no sense to me. What, what's Mishnah? No, I don't know. Never learned Mishnah. Mishnah is the first layer of the oral Torah. I didn't know anything about oral Torah. Nothing. Nothing. All the wisdom of our holy sages was blocked and sealed from me. Totally. 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 If you would mention names like Rabbi Akiva to me, I didn't know who you're talking about. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai? I didn't know. I didn't know the names of the greatest ones of them all. Oh, Moshe. I heard of Moshe. But I didn't care. Abraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov. Names. Yeah. History of our people, you claim. I don't know. I didn't. I was not even open to a conversation. I couldn't care less. I had a jeep, I had a bike, I had friends, we smoked weed. We're like, we, we were busy. <laughs> we went to clubs to dance. Like, who cared? Like, we were swimming, going to the ocean, swimming, having fun. Like, I had dogs. Like, we were camping, making bonfires. Who cared about faith? But some situations, like, clear, cleared my mind clarified some truths to me and I and I marked those ones and from one to the next from one to the other I I found that there's a course that there's that there's a pattern that there is a direction it takes me somewhere to find myself like those are answers that are answering me certain figures certain stories certain um, situations in life brought light and been a, a source of inspiration for me they were points of, of hope like wells in in springs in the desert and you mark them down like oh, all right i know i'll if i'll be thirsty again i go back there like i know there there's a well okay yeah and there okay that's a spring wonderful here i can find dates here i can find water here i can find a nice cave a rock to 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 hide from the winds like great and i had small amounts of them i had tiny amounts of 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 of, of points of deep solid understandings but they were precious to me so i wrote them down I wrote for myself notebooks on notebooks on notebooks. I was journalizing like crazy. 
I was sitting and writing down my own thoughts and my own understandings and I would go back and read them and try to try to understand what I wrote and what, what, what thought I had yesterday and what it meant and I was meditating and I tried. I went to those stores of, of um, um, modern spirituality, I don't know how you call them, like new age, um, good stones, rocks, meditation books and all those, these kind of, of, of new age um, modern spirituality stores. And I was searching for things over there. Like I bought stones and I bought books and I came home reading those books and reading them while like while walking in the street. I, 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 I was searching all over the place from those small dots of clarity. Uh, suddenly I, I found a language. I found the world. It was very interesting and not to speak about satisfying. It was amazing. It was enormous. It was great. I found myself.